So we're starting this level with uh, that many pawns, and this is the amount of pawns that to get here. And without further ado, let's see if we can beat this level pawnless. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well, Gabby APF. I am doing well as well. I'm currently uh, just trying to detain Paul's challenge run. I also... Oh no, Toffer Nicholson, something about a laser. No. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, I've been doing well. Currently trying to uh, continue the challenge run. But I've also did... Uh, I spent a lot of time this um, this weekend and even today and yesterday working on something very, what, what oh, I consider to be a major accomplishment and for my name, and that is uh, pathfinding. So, for those who don't know what pathfinding is, pathfinding is when a you have either an enemy or a projectile or any other thing that needs to uh, find uh, a way to get from point A to point B through a series of obstacles. As an, a super simple example, uh, notice how those uh, birds are chasing after me? That's pathfinding. They're pathfinding from their current location to where Hack is while also trying to avoid obstacles. And pathfinding can be very, a very complex thing, and it took me many, many hours to try and get it working. And, well, now I, I do have it working, and, and I feel really satisfied with it. I still need to fine-tune it a bit, but at least... Um, at least that's a big thing that I've been working on. Ah, thanks, thanks, uh, Daddy APF. Uh, how about you? Have you been working on any cool projects? I'm just trying to remember where these tickets were. I know one was there, one was up there. I think one is down by the docks with me. Yeah, those dots over there. Oh, what did you find, Topper Nicholson? Down there? Might be. Now to Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not here, I don't think. It's by, I think, the construction. Not the like the, the water slide, that's what it's called. Oh. That, that was scary. I'm, I'm so glad we didn't collect the fawn there, though. <laughs> I don't know where that goes, so I don't trust it. I do know there's a ladder around here. There we go. Uh, before we continue, it looks like Copper Nicholson has, has used uh, Redeem Channel Points to read a message. So, I shall get on that. Read a message as the conductor. I've come to make an announcement. DJ Grooves was a dirty mother pecker. He pets, that's my, my wife. So, I'm, I'm making a, a call out post. Post on my, my Twitter.com. DJ Drews, you've got a small beak. It's the size of this. Uh, it's the size of Hack Kid's timepieces, but smaller. And guess what? But he pets my wife, so I'm gonna pet the moon. That's right, this is what you get my super laser pack. How do you like that, Hack Kid? I, I packed the moon. You have 23 hours before, before everything hits the earth. Now get out of my sights before I pet you too. I think the challenge went through Copper Nicholson. But also, <laughs> you come up with the, the strangest messages. Though I think that was a reference to Sonic Adventure 2, if I'm not mistaken. Now we just need to make our way to. a. not the construction site, but. near the construction site. Ah, there it is. I see the... I see the, the slide building. Oh, but first. Darn. There we go. 
Yeah, Dr. Robotnik does have some, some fun dialogue in the Sonic games. Now, let's see here. Ah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's near pawns. I don't this one. Okay. Now, the last one kind of escapes me where it is. It's, um... I know we can hit the safe to get a hint. I prefer to go off of memory if we can. Because that's a, a lower risk of collecting pawns. Is it down there? No, that's just a sequel. Okay. Maybe it was by the docks. All right, that uh, sounds good, Copper Nicholson. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Oh, uh, also, if you're still here, Gabby APF, have you played a Hat in Time before? It's such a great platformer. Stay focused. Gotta avoid those ones. Not seeing it down here. Which means it's probably somewhere I'm not thinking of. Ah, fair enough. Well, uh, here's hoping that this gives you a, a good indication of the game. Because I, I really love this game. It has so much charm to it. It's obviously cute as heck. And it also uh, just has really solid platforming as well. Let's uh, head back to the safe and see if we can't get uh, that hand without collecting any. Safe is somewhere up here. Probably get around that. Yep, there it is. Now for the scary part. Okay, good. It's... It was down there somewhere. I probably just missed it. Hey, Snowflake! Thank you so much for dropping by! How's it going? Where is it? Ah, there it was. It was hiding. That's okay. Got him. Now we just need to get back safely. Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Snowflake. Uh, as I was mentioning to Gabby and Hopper earlier, I managed to managed to do something. Uh... Oh, oh, nice. You're doing well, and you just got home. Cool. But as I was mentioning earlier, I managed to do something pretty significant for my game, and that's uh, implement uh, an enemy pathfinding. So, I've, I've, met, I've gotten it so that on a, we'll say, on the on a specific level, but when I say level, I mean, like, the, the Z-axis, so, like, let's say on a specific floor, uh, it is now possible for a walking enemy to find... Uh, Dorothy in in a randomly in a randomly in a maze I could create in any particular way without having to like hard code it into specific areas. It's just uh, happens naturally. I consider that a major accomplishment because half I mean it is complicated. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thanks for the compliments, Snowflake. And also, we did this level palmless. Let's go!